Now do I have the video for you? Let's cover center lines, center marks, design dimensions, and even autonomous hole callouts. That's a lot to run through, so let's get started. Here from the Libre home screen, I'll grab this blank drawing and we'll select our template and say OK. From here I'm prompted to add in a part, so I'll choose the office chair arm that we've been working on previously. And I'll move this arm over here. And I can even do the top, front, and right views. But this time, unlike last time, when I insert this, I'll choose More Options. And I'll choose Design Dimensions, Center Marks, Center Lines, and Hole Callouts. Let's talk about what I've chosen. When I insert my view, you'll see it imports a little bit differently from last time. The most prominent thing that's noticeable here is that I've got some dimensions. And I can arrange these in a meaningful way. But where did these come from? These are the dimensions that I used to design the part with, right? My sketch dimensions, my extrude dimensions, dimensions associated with other features. It all comes in with the part if I select design dimensions on my import screen. This is a handy time saver. But what else do we have? We have this hole call out here. Because I used the hole feature in Alibre to create this hole, an automatic hole callout is created. It says, yeah, we're doing a counter bore hole at a diameter of 0.4 to a depth of a quarter. And then I've got two of these holes, of course, at a diameter of 0.26. And that's basically through all, but it says down to a depth of five. I also have these kind of purple crosses or X's or T's or targets, whatever you'd like to call them, these are hole center callouts that mark the center of a hole in the Y and X directions. Likewise, I have center lines, so I've got these lines that mark the centers of my holes when I have them. But interestingly, even though all these features can be selected when the view is created, we don't have to have those. If I delete my view and I re-import the views, I can move this to the left as before, and this time I'll import it without any of these options, and I'll say OK. Just like that, I have views without these features, but I can go to this hole and I can right click and say insert center. And there I've got something that marks the center of my hole. Again, insert center. I also can insert my hole call out to say, yep. There's my call out for both of my holes, just as before. What's really fun and cool is I can have a great center line tool where I can select, say, two lines, and the center is called out between them. Likewise, I can choose two angled lines and get the center of that angle. I can come over here, and as you can see, we can't see the hole running through the part, but I can but I can click and get this menu here. And I can say view display and we'll change visible and hidden. And now I can see my line or my hole. There's my counter board, my hole. So I'll say uh, center line. And I can choose the top and bottom lines of my hole. And there I've got a line calling out the very center of my hole that I can dimension off of. Then if I don't want that to show anymore, I certainly can go to my view display and change it back to visible and just have a line referencing the center of my hole like that. I also can right click on my view and I can say reproject design dimensions. And this is where our sketch dimensions and our feature dimensions come in automatically. And I can say newly added design dimensions only or all available design dimensions, right? It's up to me. So I'm going to go with all available design dimensions. And there we have our dimensions all over again. So whether we choose these features uh, as the beginning to import when we create our views, or we can choose them later on, we can end up with the same results. And that's how we do some of these finer details in drawings. Hope that was helpful, and let's jump on to the next one.